No. And oh. <laughs> Good morning! Today is race day again. We've raced to Leeds, we've raced to Paris, but now we're going to race to Amsterdam. Amsterdam! I'm going to be taking the Eurostar service from St Pancras to Amsterdam and Liam... I'm going to be flying with KLM from London City Airport. This is a race from London Bridge where we are now to Dam Square, the iconic centre of Amsterdam. Right, are you ready? We've got to get off. Three, two, one, let's go! So here I am on another sunny London morning as I prepare my journey to London City Airport where I'm flying out today. I'm going to take the DLR from Bank all the way to the airport. Fingers crossed I can get there, get on the flight nice and early and beat Nicky to Amsterdam. Okay, so Liam definitely has more time on his hands today than I do. So I'm in a bit of a rush. Obviously, the train takes longer than the actual flight. Hopefully, it should take 10 or 11 minutes. Um, so as long as there's a tube there and it's working well, I can whip myself across London pretty quickly. One long bloody escalator, but no time to spare today. Okay, so there we go. Nice, easy, quick journey to London City Airport. You know, every time I come here, it does always just feel weird. There is this airport plonked right in the middle of London. I wish I could travel out of here more often. But yeah, we've come into the airport now. It looks Pretty busy, quite a lot of people queuing behind me, but I don't have any bags to check in today. I've checked in online, so hopefully that means I'll be able to speed through. So I've just seen the first sign for the Eurostar, so I know I'm going the right way now. The train leaves in 40 minutes, which should give me enough time to check in and do all the bits and pieces, security passport control before getting on the train. First thing to note, there's quite significant queues for the standard class, but for Business Premier, no queue at all, and empty here. Despite the queues at check-in, security was a breeze, and I've got through to the main gate area really quickly. Lots of people flying out of London City today. I love Hi. the points, guys. We're definitely winning to get to Amsterdam. I've got about two hours to kill before my uh, boarding gate is even shown, so I've got plenty of time here. Um, I wonder how Nikki is getting on. Hi, my name is Aline and welcome to the Eurostar Business Premier Lounge. See you soon. It's a shame I'm in a rush because my Business Premier ticket gives me access to this, the Business Premier Lounge, which is actually a really lovely place to chill out, relax. They've got some great drinks and food on offer. I mean, it's just a nice place to spend some time before you get on the train. I've got a secret tip for you go up the spiral staircase because the upstairs area is much quieter, much more relaxed than loads of seats. It's really busy downstairs, uh, but I've got no time to enjoy this. They've just announced the train and I need to board. Thank you very much. Cannot be that. Come on. Hi, thank you. Very busy in the Eurostar terminal. I think a lot of people are choosing to take the train instead of plane because there's so many issues with that at the moment. My experience has been very smooth so far. Business Premier got me through security much quicker uh, than the other queues, so that was good. Nice little chill out in the lounge and now ascending the escalator to the train. There she is. It's 
actually getting a bit close to departure time now and I'm gonna have to have a bit of a run. Easy to forget this is a race when you're so relaxed. I know I'm a plane geek. There's something so sexy about this train. Look at it. Okay, enough geeking out on the train. It's time to board. We're going to Amsterdam. This is a good start. Okay, so I've just got on board this KLM Embraer 190 aircraft and as you can see, got a nice little 2x2 two two cabin today. Not the biggest seat I've ever been on, but it's only an hour, 20 minute flight, so don't need anything that advanced. Pretty basic, but going to be a comfortable enough way to travel to Amsterdam. We should be taking off pretty soon, which would mean we're still going to make that 10am scheduled departure, which is going to be crucial to making sure we do get there ahead of Nikki. So welcome to this business premiere carriage, which on first impressions is very comfy. Let's take through some of the features. We've got movable armrests, reclining seat, ooh, comfy with the recline. Nice soft headrest, tray table in front of you. Nice little pocket to put your magazines or whatever else in. Um, little mirror, international plug sockets, USB sockets, somewhere to hold your drink. Little touchy buttons for the lights, which are quite fun. And just generally, there's a sense of calm and space in a way that Liam definitely will not have on his plane right now. Fully under the sea now, on our way to the mainland of Europe. It's smooth, the ride, it feels quick. Um, and actually, I actually feel like a bit like I'm on a plane. Check this out. This is the galley of the business premiere area where they prepare everything. I could easily be on a plane right now. Even though I'm under the tunnel under the sea, I can walk about, stretch my legs, the seats are wide and comfy anyway. Okay, the time is 10 15 a.m. Yeah, and we've just taken yeah, off on well, this KLM service from London City to Amsterdam, Schiphol Airport. It's been a 15 minute delay ahead of taking off, but those 15 minutes should be okay. If that is the difference between winning or losing, I'll be absolutely gutted, but I think we're gonna be all right. Feeling comfy, feeling confident, let's get the job done. Well, look at that. I've just been brought a little bottle of water and a coconut macaroon to keep me going on this very short flight to Amsterdam. I wasn't expecting any kind of food or drink service. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Nice little bonus for this short flight. So service kicked off with a little bag of uh, bread and pastries, yogurt with uh, some compote, and nice coffee juices, um, and there's a hot course coming next. Very solid progress is being made. We're just pulling into Rotterdam station right now. So we're in the Netherlands, getting closer, on time. I haven't checked flight radar to see where Liam is yet, but maybe I'm gonna do that now. But the excitement is bubbling. I'm feeling nervous and excited. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Thank you. There we go. Thank you, KLM, for the very quick lift. Um, we're now just going to board a little transit. I think we're looking pretty good for the time. I'm just looking at flight radar and I can see that Liam has landed. Oh, his flight was like left about, looks like 12 minutes late. My hope now is that the airport is so busy because I know that the airport is incredibly busy there that he's going to have problems at passport control and just getting out the airport and then getting to Amsterdam. He's got a bit of a way to go. Whereas I can literally jump off the train and like run to Dam Square. Here we go, look at this. Train station right in the middle of the airport. How convenient is that? We just need to find the right train now to get me to Dam Square. Okay, so I'm now on board this Amsterdam Sprinter train service from the airport to Amsterdam Central. It's going to take me 15 minutes to get there and then it will be about a 5 to 10 minute sprint to get to the finish line in Dam Square. I'm feeling good, I'm happy that I'm on the train now. It's very clean, spacious and I think we're looking good. I'm feeling very confident. 
Oh my god, this is actually mad. We're stopping in the airport. We're at we're at the airport station. What? I don't think the train's gonna stop there. I'm pretty sure it doesn't stop. Imagine if I saw Liam on the platform, that'd be the greatest thing ever. Is he here? Oh, this is too much to take. Okay, this is where I am now, Amsterdam Central. It's gonna be a straight dash just alongside the river to get there as I come out into the lovely bright light of Amsterdam. Let's get a jog on and let's get this race done. Okay, we're off the train. The amazing thing is, which is the biggest difference with these trains than the plane is that I've landed as if I've just got off a train from somewhere local. So I'm straight out the station. I just have to have my ticket ready to get through the barrier and then I'm out into Amsterdam in second. Okay, here we go. We're sprinting through the streets of Amsterdam. I've actually got no idea where Nicky is at the moment. He might be just behind me, so every second is gonna count here. Finish line is in sight. I don't think Nicky is here yet. I reckon he's still a good 15 minutes away. Well, I'm gonna sprint the spine a little bit just to make sure. Okay, here we are, Amsterdam. Here's the train station. I mean, from the door of the train to being out here, it was about 20 seconds. I'm just gonna chase this tram. It's not even worth me getting on public transport because it's actually so close. One tip, never ever get in the bike lanes in Amsterdam because you will be in trouble. I've been nearly mown down by them before. These bikes, they don't stop for anybody. Some interesting smells here. I wonder what they are. Nicky is nowhere to be seen. It's another victory for the plane. I'm absolutely buzzing. No idea where he is, but that doesn't matter because I've won. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm also very, very hot and sweaty after that little sprint. But get in, delighted, another victory. Eagle eyes, looking for a Liam. We're meant to meet in front of the palace. If you'd asked me what I was going to be doing after arriving in Amsterdam, having pigeons eat seeds from my hand, certainly not what I was expecting. But, you know, Nicky's nowhere to be seen. There's nothing better to do. Why not? I'm here. I don't see him. Oh my God. Have I won? Have I done it? This is it. This is the meeting point. Oh my God. I just don't know whether... Oh no! I thought, I thought I might have done. But here he is, incognito, sunglasses on. I was about, I was like this far from about to, from celebrating. Uh, close battle, very close battle. I've only been here for about 15 minutes. So one, really? one little delay at the airport and that could have been done for. But I did still win. And I think that is two in a row to me now, winning on the train to Leeds, the plane to Amsterdam. I think I might just be a better racer than Nicky. What do we think? We're here and I lost. And I won. Congratulations. Again. Congratulations. I love Amsterdam. I'm really happy to be here, even if I was slightly late. Um, so what was the margin? Uh, 15 minutes in the end, which is pretty damn close, really. And also what I would say, first of all, is that both flying and the train are good ways to get to Amsterdam quickly. You know, we're talking two major European cities in about just over sort of two to three hours. Everybody will have their own preference. And I think for me, the train was so relaxing, so enjoyable. Although it was four hours just under, it just went by in like a second for me. And I think had you have had delays, it really would have shown the train as like the best, most relaxing and quickest option. Yeah, I mean, you've got to give credit to London City today. Very relaxing uh, time there. The plane was only 45 minutes from departure to landing, which is pretty speedy. Yeah, the train was comfortable, but it wasn't quite as quick today. Well, I think this experience has shown us there are positives to both. It's not all about speed, it's also about comfort, enjoyment and price. Um, and so hopefully you've learned a little bit today and if you have learned something, why don't you like, subscribe and share and come back for the next one. Where are we going to go next? Oh, maybe Japan. Ooh. See you next time.